All right, guys, I am headed out to the doctor's and I have to be there at 11. And the navigation says I'm currently getting there at 11.34, so we gotta go. So I am driving now in the car. I'm actually already almost there. It took me a little bit quicker than I anticipated, so I'm gonna be on time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I haven't been feeling well for the past couple of weeks. It's kind of like an on and off thing. I have like severe abdominal pain, cramping, almost like my menstrual cycle is going to be begin, but it'll happen like let's say, a couple of days after it or even before it during it, it doesn't matter the time so it's definitely not related to menstruation and hold on one second I just want to make sure I don't miss my turn okay um, yeah so it's definitely not related to menstruation and I got really sick the other night and I even threw up so then I started to think maybe it was something I ate I was just feeling absolutely awful also makes me very physically exhausted I don't know I've been going through a lot of stress and a lot of things so I don't know if it's that and Friday I was actually at the you know Thursday Thursday I went to the Medi Center they couldn't do anything they took my urine sample thinking maybe it was a UTI because they said there's some levels of elevation with like my white blood cells which they usually elevate when you're trying to fight something off um, but they said there was no bacteria or anything when the labs came back and I was in there two months ago and for the same thing like I felt okay I have a UTI they saw that and they automatically just pres prescribed amoxicillin and they said when the results came back from the lab I didn't have anything like that so they basically treated me two times as if I had a UTI but that really was never the case and I thought it was so lovely of the urgent care to like contact me and even let me know so one of the times there was even blood in my urine so that's why I thought 100% it had to be a UTI but now I'm kind of freaking out because having blood in your urine, having cramping, things like that, that in my opinion just can't be normal and it doesn't seem healthy. So I'm headed here. I came in on Friday to do blood work at my OBGYN. He did um, like an internal like swab to basically test that. And now I'm coming back because he wants me to get an ultrasound. Then he also, depending what the results are from this ultrasound today, Get, he wrote me already a script for a CAT scan, so I probably will be having, a, having to get a CAT scan soon, as well as, um, what else did he say he was going to do? Ultrasound, CAT scan, oh, and he wants me to see a urologist. I have a lot of um, appointments and stuff to be going to, to be booking, to see what it is. Like I said, it's something on and off, so it's not like a constant pain, but when the pain comes, it is pretty severe. So I want to make sure just everything's kind of okay. So this is going to be my first ultrasound actually in like two and a half years, which is crazy. We're going to the doctor with mommy. <laughs> you can take your hat off, honey. You can take it off. So we are all done. I got my ultrasound. It was actually an internal and external. Pretty quick process. And now we're gonna head out to go get something to eat for lunch since it's already about one o'clock. This appointment ran a little bit later. I came exactly on time, but then they weren't ready. They were about half hour late. So this girl is getting a little crazy. Are you hungry? Yeah. You ready for lunch? Yeah. Mommy, she fell on her nose, and now look, it's red. You see it? You look like Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Are you gonna listen to mommy and not run? <laughs> you like to see it red? <laughs> We made it into the car. Today is not going all that great with little Miss Mila. She's not on her best behavior. Hopefully she's not getting sick because this morning my sister-in-law called me that my nephew's sick. So fingers crossed nothing is wrong with her because that is going to be a struggle, especially with trying to get a video up every single day till Christmas. 
So we're going to grab something eat to eat. I have to do a quick Target run because I have to do a return. I'll probably browse through a little bit to see if they have anything new going on. And then I think that is going to be it for today because I have to go home after that and just take care of a lot of things, life things that you guys probably aren't interested in seeing. <laughs> sandwich, some broccoli cheddar soup, which is my favorite. Mila has a sandwich and a go-girl. You want me to open that for you? What are you doing? You're trying to make a bib? But it's not good supposed to go in your shirt. Take it out of your shirt. She put tons of napkins inside her shirt saying that she needed a bib. <laughs> You want me to help you? No, not in it. Look, let me show you. I'm gonna show you and then you can do it. Like this, only the top part gets tucked in. Only the little piece, like that. Like that. You're gonna do it now? Okay, go. Go ahead, let me see. Yeah, like that. Good job. Very good. And I'm eating the peanut butter and jelly. She, this is her first time trying peanut butter and jelly. She was not a fan. So instead she's eating tuna salad. The only little girl I know that doesn't like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you want to see yourself while you talk? Okay, there. Hello. 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 Say, say hi, YouTube. I'm bubble Oh, cool. um, oh, yeah. Mila, Mila is currently obsessed with the Grinch, so this just came on the radio. She is extra excited, so we gotta put this on blast. <laughs> Costco I have my returns here I purchased this stuff in store and then literally the next day it went 20% off online so I just reordered it and I'm gonna return this stuff and I'm gonna take me out the car we're gonna go in hopefully this can be a quick run This house, we believe. It's five bucks. Ooh, the other side, Sam. <laughs> what did you see? A cute penguin. You want one? Oh, they have unicorns. Let's go do this one. Look how cute, baby. You want it? Okay. If you're a good girl, while we're here, I'll buy it for you. These are only three bucks. Which one? The one with the hat. The Santa. This one's cute too. Which one do you like? You pick one, okay? We can't get two, we have to pick one, okay? Not this one, you want the unicorn? These place guard holders are so, so cute. But I'm not hosting Christmas, so I'm not gonna get them. But for those of you that are, these are only $3. Here 
at the dollar spot section, they're only a dollar. They're hardcover, so they're good even if you have babies. I do 12 Days of Christmas for Mila, where I wrap a book 12 days leading down to Christmas that she unwraps and reads. So these would be perfect, just a dollar, and I picked up three of them. I wish they would have had more, because then I could really save a lot of money for Gosh, that. This is so cute. Look at this little mini outfit, Mila. It's cozy and cute, and my favorite color. I think we need a baby. Another baby, look. Aww. <laughs> it's cute, right? That's a stroller. You want a stroller? You want, you want a baby? We're gonna have a hard time getting rid of this hat. <laughs> she didn't get the memo, it's past Thanksgiving. You wanna go night night? You're too big, you don't go in that. That's for a tiny baby. and like bumper to bumper traffic to get home it's gonna take probably double the time and i was trying to keep mila up so she would nap once we got home but that didn't happen she's already knocked out in the back seat <laughs> unfortunately it looks like there was a four car accident hence the traffic now hopefully it's smooth sailing from here and i can get home really quickly all right guys i just got home it's about 4 30 mila is knocked out in the back seat for the past couple of vlogs i've been ending them i feel like pretty late like 8 8 30 and then by the time i get mila to bed and everything like that i don't get around to editing till like 10 10 30 and that leaves me being up till about one in the morning and then i'm even needing to finish the day of the upload finishing up the editing and cover photos and things like that so i want to be a little bit ahead of the game i'm not gonna do such long vlogs and I'm gonna hope to be done with vlogging by like five o'clock each day this way I have a little more free time to be editing and not have to be up so late and just be more tired than I already am so with that being said I am going to be closing out this vlog and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye, bye.